Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is part one in a series of videos that I'll be doing over a period of time covering various different species of isopods and the care requirements and as much information as I can sort of give you guys about these particular species. So the first one in this series is Mar Marulanella species Ember B, which I do have and we'll go through the care requirements and various other information about this particular species. So first of all, let's have a look at ember bees and we'll get a little bit of video of them in action. Marulinella species Ember B come from Southeast Asia, typically Vietnam, or most notably Vietnam. As such, they require a damp, not soaked substrate. They prefer a temperature range between 70 and 78 Fahrenheit, which equates 21 to 25.5 Celsius, and a moisture or a humidity between 65 and 70 percent, ideally with good ventilation they're generally found congregating in leaf litter and under flat bark make sure you replicate this in a terrarium or in a tub they're not a burrowing species so a deep layer of substrate isn't required but they do like to climb Make sure you replicate this in a terrarium or tub and give them high elements if possible. One notable thing is they can climb smooth surfaces, so make sure that you've got a tight fitting, non escapable lid. Adults grow to around 19 millimeters in size. Marulinella species Ember B are notoriously fast breeders given the right parameters and the right conditions. The species is characterised by a large body with colours ranging from yellow, orange, red, with black and some presenting a powdered body. In the wild, Marulinella species ember bee are detrivores, eating decaying matter such as leaf litter, various other bits of fallen fruit, dead animals, etc. etc. It's important to provide leaf litter and offer foods such as grated carrot, mango, isopod powdered foods, gel foods with calcium, and fish flakes are a good alternative with a calcium source. Likewise, cuttle bone or powdered cutter bone or other good calcium sources. Marulanella species Ember B are a diurnal species, meaning they are active during daytime. Provide them with a day-night cycle, as they are super active and crawl up your arm if they get a chance. They are also known to climb vertical surfaces, as I said, plastic and glass, as I mentioned before and are adept at escaping the enclosure. Bear this in mind because they will escape. You need a tight fitting lid. My particular tub that I've got my ember bees in has a tight fitting lid, but I've also put a bead of foam, the um, draft excluder foam around the top so that when the lid presses down, it's really, really tight. That is super important if you don't want to lose your ember bees. It is well known that imported ember bees have difficulty adapting to captivity and this often results in fatalities. With this in mind and where available, captive bred are always the first go-to option. 
habitat consistency is key to success with this and any isopod species for that manner matter if you can replicate their environment and keep the parameters within the frame that they need to be you'll have happy healthy isopods that breed